Yeah, cause I would've armor guy. So you can't destroy me. You want a name and the fame, but I do this shit for the glory. Yo, what's happening? It's your boy Cardo Santana. I know it's been a minute since I uh, did a blog, shared anything really. Even like, you know, have my voice heard out there or whatever, but um, this is long overdue. I've really been procrastinating, you know, as well as dealing with some things personally, but uh, I feel like this is, uh, this is gonna be needed. So, um, where we last left off, you know, I was just sharing, a, sharing about, you know, how I felt being an artist and um, what genre I felt I was going, pursuing. Um, I also spoke about what street gospel truly is. And um, I think a lot of people who watched, let me say it like that, I think a lot of people who watch um, definitely have a better insight now as to what I'm doing or what I'm trying to achieve. So. A few, a few weeks after recording the vlog, the last vlog I did, um, as most of, you, most of you know, I'm the executive producer for Markel's uh, debut album, Spark. So, you know, it was just the two of us in the studio just cooking, cooking and cooking and making dope tracks and, and this and that. And um, around the end of July, in the, in the July, beginning of August, like I started feeling crazy pains like in the left side of my body. And um, you know, I'm just brushing it off. I'm like a like an old brother. I'm just thinking, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing, nothing serious, you know, just drink some water and I'll be all right. But um, it was hindering me like greatly, like being able to breathe and, and rap the cadences and, and um, keep my breath support while I'm trying to, in the studio, trying to sing, rap, or anything. Um, it became very, very difficult. I'm not gonna say impossible, but very difficult. And uh, again, I'm just brushing it off, brushing it off, but it seemed like the more time that I brushed it off, the worse it got. And I eventually, it all came down to being in the studio and not being able to really function, not being able to really sleep at night because the, the pain was just out of this world. And um, and I believe I have a pretty high pain threshold because I'm never really complaining about pain, but this was, it was bothering me too much. I, I didn't know what was going on. So, you know, Markel and I, I, I agreed that I would go to the doctor, you know, he kept, kept getting on me like, go, go, go. And I, I agreed to go and uh, it's probably one of the best decisions could have made. Uh, God works in mysterious ways. Um, the first place I went to, they wouldn't see me. And if it, they would have saw me there, I would not have gone to the emergency room and really found out the situation. Went to the emergency room and I got some news that kind of, you know, really kind of changed a lot of things in my personal life. And as an artist, um, as an artist, I wanna, I know it becomes difficult when you're an artist because your personal life and your business life, they kind of coincide. And, Oftentimes, as artists, we try to keep personal here and business there, but this situation is kind of bringing my personal life and my business life together in a sense because it's like no matter, I, I can't shake it. Um, after several tests, I mean, so many tests, uh, the doctor came back and told me that I have a hereditary disease that's known as thalassemia. And if you don't know it, it's basically uh, your body doesn't produce red blood cells how everybody else does. So it's very rare, but um, 
it's hereditary, it's a family thing. And uh, for those of you who know, like, uh, I'm an advocate for sickle cell awareness because my older brother, who's my everything, has sickle cell. So it's like thalassemia is like a like a cousin of sickle cell. You know what I'm saying? Um, so getting the news, it it messed with me mentally because I'm like. I felt changes in my body, but I'm like, nah, it's not that big of a deal, and you know, I, I'll be all right, but um, life changed with me kind of fast. So after getting the news, it was like, I've, I've really been in a, in a place in my life where it's like, I don't even... I don't even know how to get back into the to the flow of things, you know. I'm, I'm back in school now, um, aiming to get my master's degree and being a full-time artist, and it's like, kind of like at a standstill. But I want to use this moment to preach some street gospel, you feel me? Um, it's long overdue, but I remember one of my one of my vlogs. I believe it was one of my vlogs, or you know, uh, something on one of my social networks, social media pages. I, I was saying something like being still and not being stagnant, and that's exactly where <laughs> where I'm at in life because God made me still and. For a huge period of time, I was just still, like, the last couple of weeks, I was still, but I was also stagnant, and it, it, it was just bothering me, because I'm like, I'm being still, I'm listening to God, I'm trying to get my life in order, I have to do certain things, I can't ne neglect my body anymore, I have to do certain things, so being still, but I wasn't working, I wasn't writing, I wasn't, you know, ministering, and, and again, I'm, I'm not... I'm not somebody who's gonna be in anybody's church, you know, preaching a sermon or nothing like that, but I minister to my way. My way's through music, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, I, and, I, and it was like, I wasn't doing anything, man. I wasn't doing anything but chilling at the crib, like, yo, just allowing myself to get, allowing myself to be in my headspace. And, um, I really want to use this this is as an opportunity to preach street gospel and understanding that though God may have you still do not be stagnant no matter what you do no matter what you do in life because sometimes God will force you to sit down force you to listen force you to be patient force you to do his bid you know his calling because me, I was never a still person. I'm like, I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna do how I wanna do it. I'm not gonna stop. If I didn't wanna be in certain relationships, I didn't have to be in it. If I didn't want friendships, I didn't have to have them. If I didn't want a job, nah, I don't need that one. I can go get this one. So being still, nah, nah. If I didn't wanna do something, I wasn't gonna do it. But now it's like, I gotta listen to everything God says. So. I was, you know, I got caught up in the word one night, man, and uh, I'm going to read it verbatim because I don't ever want to mess, mess the word up, but then, um, in, in Exodus, it's 14 and 14, it says, the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still, and that right there was like, like that light bulb for me, it's like, Okay, God's going to fight the battle for me as long as I'm still. But while God is fighting certain battles, battles for you, you have to do something internally. You feel me? It, uh, the word says be still. You know, that's all you have to do is just be still. But that's God taking care of a fight for you. So what are you going to do for yourself? What are you going to do for yourself while God is doing all that for you? And that's really where I was at because I'm like, all right, God, I'm going to let you handle everything with school my health, all this and that, but what is Ricardo gonna do for Ricardo? And that was something that, 
that really opened my mind because I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I need to do. I need to do something for me. So, you know, I really pushed my date back for, for my project for Street Gospel. I pushed the date back. Originally, I pushed it back for a few weeks. It was slated still for 2018, but because of everything that was going on with me, uh, medically, I, I felt it best to, to change the date. So what I did was I went ahead and slated it for January 1st of 2019. And I know that's kind of like a, a ways away, but it gives me time to prepare. Being a full-time student, a full-time artist, it gives me time to prepare and get right. But I'm not just gonna leave y'all hanging, man. I'm gonna, gonna make sure you all hear my voice. So I'm being still and listening to God and hearing to what God wants me to do, but I'm not being stagnant. I'm really, really about to get back into the swing of things, get back to work. Actually in here right now, getting ready to write and, you know, really let these beats sit with me. So I just wanted to come update you all about some of the things I was going through and uh, let you know that Street Gospel is still on the way. I'm still Cardo Santana and uh, Back Alley Apostle, you know what I'm saying? And this is Street Gospel. I love y'all. I'm blessed that you all still rocking with me. And um, I know I'm not a big vlogger, blogger, whatever you want to call it, but let's just say it's time for a change. And um, that starts with me. Because if I can change and be more active, then I know my supporters can do the same thing. So, yeah, man, we all a family. Also, before I leave, I just want to let y'all know, Cardo Santana supporters, let's go ahead and get these hashtags popping. Hashtag the cartel, and that's cartel with a K. You already know what time it is. So, yeah, man, just want to let y'all know I love y'all. It's 6.09, I got class at 8, but um, I'm feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. And um, to all my doctors, nurses, um, <laughs> anybody who's been praying for me and with me throughout my situation, because a lot of people didn't know. I love y'all, man, and Lord knows I can't can't express that enough. So to my family, my friends, I love y'all, man. Peace.